guys so I'm back with another video and it is going to be a favorites video and I'm super excited to film this like so excited because I love filming these types of videos they make me super happy and I love talking through products and makeup and fun random bits and pieces that I have here through the month that I've been loving and um, so I'm just going to start with my makeup items because I feel like you know everyone loves a good makeup item to talk about and watch and review and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna really start off with the really like boring kind of things. But I've been loving cotton pads. Woo! So exciting. Um but I really have though. Whenever I take my makeup off, I just don't feel like I can use anything but a cotton pad to take my makeup off. I feel like wipes are just too harsh on the skin. Um like we face cloths and everything are too harsh on my skin as well and I feel like these are just perfect and these are only a pound from Tesco's and these were but well, there are 160 cotton pads um 100% pure cotton soft strong and absorbent and that is just what they are and they're a family case but I only use them for me so moving on and um, the next thing I have is a real techniques um deep cleansing gel so you just wash your brushes with this but I have not went back to using anything else other than this to wash my brushes with so it basically I don't know if you're you'll be able to see this hold on Ooh, no it's not coming out no I'm not even going to attempt that because it's going to spill all over me but so you just put this on uh, your brushes in warm water sw swirl it around and um, and you just rub it between your fingers. It does tell you all the steps here. Um, so that is good. And this is, I think this was like 13 pound and I thought to myself, am I really paying this money for this? But I got this in December and I'm pretty sure it's like here, about the, the amount in it. It smells really nice too. So that's always a plus. But I love it. And I feel like every girl should have that um, in their collection because I mean, I love it. It's good. So the next thing is a setting spray. I don't ever use setting sprays, but I really wanted to buy the Urban Decay setting spray because I feel like that is so good, but I could not bring myself to buy it because of the money. I do not want to pay, is it 29.50 for it? No thanks, maybe someday, but not today. I'm not rich, I don't need to pay that for the amount of makeup I put on daily. Like I don't put on a lot of makeup daily so I feel like that's pointless. I feel like whenever girls put on full face of makeup or they go out at the weekends and stuff, that is, like, that is essential, people need it for that. But I don't personally need it and I just figured I will settle for a cheaper alternative. So I found this one and this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour makeup locking setting spray. Extends makeup's wear and fresh look and it's just a spray. Um, it just says all about it at the back. It says lightweight translucent mist for use after makeup application and it looks like this and I'm pretty sure this was seven pounds maybe. I'm not sure. I kind of just picked it up and I was like I'm getting this because I need to buy myself a setting spray or I'm going to start really hating myself because my makeup doesn't stay on like as well without the setting spray obviously so I feel like this really works wonders although I haven't tried the Urban Decay one or higher end products I feel like this is just really good I'm sure the other ones are better but I feel this works very 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 well especially with my skin and it's not harsh on my skin it's just like water going on my skin so um the next product is a foundation um this is in my makeup tutorial from was it two nights ago I put a video up yeah, and um, this is the Maybelline Superstar 24 hour. I'm not sponsored Maybelline, but I just love it and it looks like this and I just think it's so beautiful on the skin. It's really lightweight and it's Really easy to blend and it hides all my blemishes and spots so easily I only need a dab or like a tiny bit um, of foundation and it does cover a lot of my face So I'm not complaining and this was also about Eight points but I got two for ten so I'm not complaining Um, the next thing is a mascara and um, this is just the oh my goodness this is Maybelline again I actually look like I'm sponsoring them and um, this is Maybelline uh, Lash Sensational Lash Multiply Mascara which looks like this and the applicator looks like this 
so I think this is beautiful and I have it on my eyes right now and I feel like it separates my eyelashes very well and it lasts so long and it's so beautiful and it's not clumpy it's not clumpy which I love like I get really uh, I get um mascaras just some of them can just come out really really thick and ugh, that one's perfect absolutely love it and for someone like me I didn't normally like the thinner brushes and stuff and the alpha kiddish but I'm starting to really, really, really enjoy them. And I really love that one. And I'm pretty sure that was about eight pounds as well. Now the last two makeup B items um, are going to be one, which is a concealer, which is the Lasting um, Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in the color Nude, or Nude Fur, it's in the fur. So it looks like this and it swatches out like this. So it's very pigmented and it's very beautiful and it covers up my bags underneath my eyes. So I'm not complaining. Um, I think these makeup products are just so beautiful and I love them. And that was actually quite cheap. I think it was like four pounds something. So that's also very, very good. And the last thing I have in my makeup items is my Revolution um, Focus and Fix Eyebrow Shaping Kit. I've been using this recently on my eyebrows. I've been really, really, really enjoying it because... Um, I don't really fill my eyebrows in and I feel like this is just perfect. Like this is the wax here and this is my colour here and I mix them both together and I have eyebrows. What more could you want? And that was about six pounds, I think. Um, moving on to the miscellaneous kind of items and random bits and pieces. Um, okay, I'll move on to two books that I've been loving. Not really going to go into depth about them because I feel like if I do, people are going to be like... I don't want to know about the book. Um, so it's Girl Online and Girl Online on Tour um, by my favourite YouTuber. And I just love these because I feel like the story just relates to me a lot. Um, uh, well, other than obviously the boy and the girl and all that there. Um, but I feel like the story relates to me a lot because she has anxiety and blah, blah, blah. I don't really want to go into it, but basically she has anxiety and it's sort of like... She's letting you know how you're coping with it kind of thing and it helps and reading really helps anxiety by the way If you have anxiety read please <laughs> Um, so the next thing I have are fairy lights Um, I got these little silver ones. They're little like oils on them with hearts and um, I'm basically um Trying to sort out a filming setup at the moment. And I have one. I'm just needing to decorate it and stuff and um, so I have a little bit like this to decorate. So this month I've been loving fairy lights because I need to have fairy lights in the background of my videos of some sort because I can't cope with them in my room it, like itself without fairy lights. So moving on to my next thing which is also a fairy light. Doesn't look like a fairy light but it is. Um, they're baby lanterns. <laughs> How cute are they? Um, so I got these little lanterns which aren't completely like ready yet because I need to build like more and make more of them and um, but you basically do this and then put fairy lights through them so I think that is such a cool idea but they are very very easy to rip I have two here that's ripped so one here and one here Um, they are from Primark though so like you know they would rip two seconds um so the fairy lights just go through them and that is that and I love it and it's super pretty and I just I don't know I think girls need these in their room because <laughs> I just love them so much they're so beautiful and the next thing I have which is what I've just been drinking out of is this cup Um, it's more or less what's in the cup though and um, I've been loving Ribena this month oh my goodness I just love it so much Um. I got this cup to drink water out of. I've been drinking my way out of it, so it's not really that good. But I mean, I've been drinking more fluids, so I can't complain. Um, I don't really want to go into depth about it because it's Ribena, but I've been loving Ribena this month. And I think you should too. <laughs> um, so the next thing is a lanyard. I have been loving lanyards recently. I feel like I haven't been able to buy lanyards because I don't have car keys to do that with. So I got a lanyard for my car keys and it's just this beautiful little um like pinky summery kind of um lanyard and it is a watermelon. So I mean who doesn't love our watermelon? I know I'm being like really weird in this video, I'm kind of like really energetic and like 
oh all over the place but I'm just really happy to be filming again so I don't want that to be like oh my goodness Sarah was so calm in her other oh Sarah was so calm in her other videos and now she's so weird and like yeah I'm just happy to be filming again and I'm so excited <laughs> and I actually forgot to mention a product and this is the Maybelline again and um, baby skin instant pore eraser and I've just been loving this a lot recently it's a lightweight primer and I feel like it helps my makeup like glide onto my face kind of thing and blend in even like more smoothly kind of thing I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it and I think that was about six pounds now the last two things is it two yeah two things are three things I don't really want to stand up and show you my sports bra but I've been loving sports bars recently. I've got this little one on. It's an Adidas one. I, again, I don't really want to show you because I'm just in my sports bra. But um, obviously I have trousers on that I like. But I just don't feel comfortable standing up and showing you. Um, but I got this from Jetty Sports. And it was £22. But I feel like um, sports bras with these kind of tops are just so lovely together. So it's just like a little vest top. And I got this from New Look for a pound. Um... And I've been just I've just been loving you like recently. I just love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, and then the next two wee tops are like so gorgeous. So I picked up this top from New Look and it's like little ruffles on it. Oh it just has little ruffles on it, so I picked it up in a second colour. The other colour is like a peachy colour. Um I think I actually have it in my wardrobe. I do somewhere but I can't say it um, and the next top is like a beigey kind of nudie kind of brown um, my nanny actually picked this out and she was like get it it's gorgeous and I walked away I was like no it's not and I was kind of annoyed at myself because I went down to Primark or Primark whatever you want to call it um, to get myself like new clothes and new vest tops and stuff for the summer and I just didn't pick up anything so I was like maybe I should buy this because I mean, it is beautiful, but I just didn't think it'd suit me. So I bought it and I absolutely adore it. So it's like a v-neck, like mind the marks here because obviously I have been wearing it and I've got stuff on it, but it smells really good like to wash it yet. Like I have loads of perfume on it. Um, it just, it's like a, it's not a half top, it's just like a proper vest. And um, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And this was only five pounds from Primark. And I just love the quality of it as well. It's really, really soft and actually feels much more expensive than what it is and it looks a million dollars on if you have the right um bottoms on with it um it's gorgeous and if you're looking to go on a night out as well i feel like it would be beautiful with a pair of jeans and high heels or even a skirt and high heels so that is all my favorites i'm so excited and i'm so happy to have filmed this um so yeah i have nothing else to say other than if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up um and i will see you very very soon and if you enjoyed and you're not already subscribed, uh, subscribe down below um, and let me know what you think. If you want any more favourites videos or if you enjoy the favourite favorite videos, let me know down below because I do enjoy your feedback and what you like to see. And if you want any more reviews and stuff on products, let me know as well because I have been buying tons of foundations. I give no idea. Like this is like a little um, drawer of my foundations. Yeah. There's a good like 12 in there um, and I've only bought them over the past few weeks so I mean if you would like to see reviews on different foundations or certain foundations let me know when I will go down and like buy them and try them out and stuff so yeah I will see you in my next video I'm not sure what it's going to be because I haven't decided what my next video is going to be about but let me know and I will see you very 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 soon